Welcome back everybody to Sinaloa's Crypto. My name is Mike, thank you for being here with me today. I know it's been a while since I've seen you guys. I haven't made a video in quite a while. I've been enjoying the summertime with my family. Now it's time to get back to work as autumn approaches and the cryptocurrency market kicks up into high gear. We are gonna see a beautiful Q4. I'll be going over some news later and I'll be going over some market analysis and all these other things. But right now we're gonna concentrate on one project and one project only, and that is Moon River. Please leave some comments below you guys. Leave the thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you like this content. But more importantly, talk to me, you guys. Let me know. Have you even heard of Moon River? What do you think about Moon River? Is anybody invested in this project already? And if you've never heard about it, I'm really happy to bring this to light and bring this to you so you can check out and see if you see the things that I see and the reason why I aped into this project. Ready? Let's go. All right, guys, Moon River token. Let's check it out. Right now, we got a price of around $300. And the reason I'm making this video today is because I believe that the $300 mark is a decent time to uh, get into this project. Um, by the way, I just want to give a shout out here to my uh, my Bruce Lee shirt here. We are ready to flow like water because why not? Uh, so $300, is that a good entry price? Personally, I think so. Look, I'll be honest with you. I aped into this project at a higher price than $300, okay? And obviously this channel is not anywhere near big enough for me to be a market mover, so I'm not trying to you know, front run you guys uh, and everything. I just, I don't really talk about projects unless I'm already in them. Because what's the point of even doing this kind of analysis and breakdown and bringing these things out there if I'm not willing to take this kind of risk myself? So yes, I'm already in this project. and my average entry price after aping in is well over $300, okay? Uh, not financial advice, I just think that anything around this mark is a good time to DCA, uh, okay? Dollar cost average into this project because you know what? Right now, there's a lot of choppy downward sideways movement in the market. We've got this whole China FUD thing going on right now, but it really didn't drop the market like it has before, and we all know this has happened, what, 100 times already? So. Um, Still long-term bullish, you guys. We're at the end of September. Uh, we know that all this manipulation is down so people can get into these projects early and so they can build their accumulations because we all know that Q4 is gonna be a banger. It's gonna be a blow-off top moment. I really still believe that. Projects like Moon River, okay? Keep an eye on them. I'm not saying that you need to go buy them at $300, but you know what? This is just a good DCA uh, mark is really all I'm talking about. If you can get in under that, great. Uh, never throw all your dry pow pow at once because you always want to hang on it because you never know what's going to happen in this market. We could still see a lot more downside, but I do believe when we're done with this nice little dip and we get past this whole China thing, I think the market's going to really take off once again. It's going to be a good time to be in crypto. So $300, right? Let's check this out. Circulating supply. Now I did a little bit of research, you guys, uh, on Telegram and uh, Twitter and from what I understand, the circulating supply right now, which has yet to be determined, which is why you won't find it um, with a market cap value attached to it on CoinGecko, but the circulating supply is about 1.6 million. Um, the total supply being 10 million. The max supply is, I believe, uncapped, but we'll talk about that more in a minute when we get on this website. Right now, we're just going to take a look at what is going on with this project. Uh, okay. So the low and the high for the 24 hours is under 300, a little bit over 300, a little, a lot of, a lot of choppy. If you look at this chart, a lot of choppy sideways action. The uh, trading volume is right, just barely under 16 million. So it's got a treat, a decent trading volume uh, attached to it. Look, a lot of people are kind of sitting silent about this. If you watch some of the bigger YouTubers, they've already mentioned this project, and with the mere mention of this project. Let's check out the 30 day real quick. You can see the climb and this rise up to just about the all time high right under $500. A lot of people are trying to keep this a secret because they know what's going on with this project even far more than I do because they're very, very, very technically and fundamentally sound and understanding what these things do. I do get a lot of information by watching other YouTubers and reading a lot of the comments because I like to base um, my understanding of things on community. Community is very, very important. Now, this being a Polkadot uh, Kusama parachain project, there is a, automatically a huge uh, community behind this project. So. These are the things I like to see. This is exactly why I have increased my allocation on this project. I do believe this is more of a long-term hold. I do believe because they've gotten their parachain auction, they've already secured that from Polkadot. Gonna be massive. We all know the Polkadot ecosystem is just about to completely blow up. We need to be keeping an eye on these things like that. And this project is certainly one of them. So it's still kind of a secret, but believe you me, there is gonna come a time real soon here where some of the bigger 
uh, channels are going to be start pumping and pumping and pumping their bags of Moon River token. All right. What else do we need to see here before we go to the website? Not much. We've gone over all the stuff that matters. Let's go to the Moonbeam Foundation. Check it out. Now, again, you got to do some of your own research, you guys. I'm not going to go over this entire thing because I want you to look into it yourself more. The more you understand it from your own research, the more you're going to make sound decisions based on where you're putting your money at right now in this crypto market. So we'll go over as much as we can. Keep the video nice and short. The rest is up to you. You can always ask me questions. You can always leave comments, guys. Moon River Token. The utility token of the Moon River Network. The network's Kusama deployment will be called Moon River and have its own utility token also called Moon River, MOVR. Supply and other token economic behaviors on Moon River will be the same as Moonbeam. Y'all need to look into Moonbeam too. We're not going to go over that, but it's need to know information. Uh, but token distribution will be different in order to support the unique goals and attributes of the network. Moon River will serve as a canary network for Moonbeam, but it will also have a community-led experiment where the community will decide the token, the direction the token takes. Among other things, Moon River is uh, used as a large parachain crowd loan to obtain its initial parachain slot on Kusama. Done. Already achieved. Big time news right there, you guys. We all know parachains are going to be bangers, right? Um, let's go here to a little bit of this. The Genesis supply with 10 million. We already know that the annual inflation rate, 5% uncapped. We'll have to get into that in a second because I do believe that that means initially it's going to be well, ultimately it's gonna be uncapped, but the way they have it broken down and having the fees paid and keeping the network secure, these are all good things. These are the kind of things you wanna see. This is not a rug pull project, that I can tell you right there. Uh, okay, the transaction fees, 80% burned. Beautiful, we love to see token burns. We all know that supply and demand drives price, and so good things, right? 20% to the treasury. Uh, anticipated launch Q2, we've already got that. We are already in launch mode, Moon River Token Utility. A decentralized smart contract platform, Moon River requires the Mover token to function. This token is central to the design of Moon River and cannot be removed without sacrificing essential functionality. So, gotta have it, right? We need these things to function. Some of the uses of the Moon River Token uh, include supporting the gas metering of smart contract execution, incentivizing collators and collators and powering the mechanics 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 around the creation of a decentralized node infrastructure on which the platform can run facilitating the on-chain governance mechanism mechanism uh, including pr uh, proposing ref refrenda wow i'm having troubles reading here today just kidding i'll go on you know me i don't edit my idiot my videos edit, edit my idiot wow blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, paying for transaction fees on the network on-chain governance and network transactions gas metering protocol security all good things now this is the part that i really want to go over with you guys and hopefully i don't stumble my way through this but charts are good visualization right okay so 30 percent for the crowd loan gotta obtain those things community incentives and parachain slot reserves 40 percent parachain bond reserves eh, it's looking like a really metery uh 0.5 percent the treasury the treasury's small but that treasury is going to grow as um transactions take place on this because 80 percent of it gets burned the other 20 percent goes to the treasury long-term network stewardship adoption okay 24 and a half percent Developer adoption program, 4.5%. So if you break these down and you understand how the tokenomics work in general, just a generalization, you'll see this is a pretty this is a pretty good model right here. Um, this is not top heavy as far as uh, the people who created this to to own the most of uh, mo most of it, holding onto it, getting ready to dump when it gets into an all time high. That's not what this project is designed to do. This canary work uh, network is going to be very 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 important to the Moonbeam network and to Kusama. So uh, these things all integrated into each other. They just kind of hold each other responsible and accountable. These are the kind of projects that you just don't really have to worry about uh, waking up one day and being like, hey, what happened to this project? It just totally crapped the bed, right? That's not what we're looking at here and those are the kind of projects that i feel confident in and that's exactly why i've already aped in and i'm looking to do it one more time if we can dip below 300 and get a nice entry point i'm kind of going big on this project 
When the Moon River token uh, network launches, a total supply of mover tokens will be 10 million. A portion of the network fees have been reserved to ensure to ensure the network secures and maintain a, a parachain slot on the Kusama network. A significant portion of the network, 30%, was fairly and permissionlessly distributed as part of the initial crowd loan. The remaining balance will be distributed to uh, teams building on Moon River and held by the Moonbeam Foundation to support long-term protocol and network development. And notably, there is no founder reward. And the pure stake team developing Moon River will not own any of the tokens at Network Genesis. Boom. Need I say more? Um, you can get a little bit more into the network allocation if you want to break this down. Uh, this is part of DYORing uh, inflation and fee model. So uh, Moon River targets a 5% annual inflation rate and as such has an uncapped token supply. Don't let that scare you guys. That's, that's not going to be the kind of thing that's going to all of a sudden destroy the uh, supply and demand aspect of this particular project. Uh, I think this is going to be kind of like getting into um, uh, Kusama sort of uh, early. Those who got into Kusama really early did really well. Now this project is only about 30 something days old, so this is early. Uh, I do expect to see a lot of action on this particular project. And you know, if you're smart and you know how to trade, if that's your kind of thing, you kind of catch those highs, maybe sell some of them and, and buy back into this project and allocate your same amount of funds into this project and, and grow it. That's what I'm planning on doing. Uh, that's why I'm trying to get into this project as much as I can. So I can have a nice little stake to, to buy and sell and trade with 50% uh, of that. Uh, obviously I'm gonna put away and, and not touch it until I really feel like this this uh, project has achieved um, what it's after and it, you turn a nice little profit and um, hey you got to take profits on the top right so uh, that's personally what I'm doing I'm taking 50% of this project I'm putting it aside I'm not touching it the other 50% I'm gonna play with it I'm gonna take some risks uh, especially if you're taking risks when you're already up instead of being down you can really really um, add to your allocation basically for free just the minor trading fees that you're gonna pay on whatever uh, platform you're using KuCoin Great project, uh, great platform. I'm not worried about the my, the minuscule fees. You know, I used to care when I was making these big um, purchases and sells, and it was like one point something percent or under one percent or even as high as up to two percent sometimes. You know, but then after, um, you know, the Ethereum fees we've been encountering on uh, uh, on uh, Uniswap, it's it, it just. I'm not even worried about paying fees on centralized exchanges anymore. Uniswap kind of changed the game. Anytime you're paying over $100, sometimes even well up to, you know, way over $100, it's kind of not a big deal anymore. So uh, again, that's just my plan with this particular project. Um, let's go back over here to Coin Market Cap. We'll give a little, uh, I'm sorry, Coin Gecko. I'm sorry to insult you, Gecko. I meant Coin Gecko. I don't use Coin Market Cap anymore. Just don't like that that uh, the way they're doing things, uh, especially being bought up by Binance. But that's a whole another story for a whole another day. So uh, again, guys, let me know what you think below. Um, I do believe this project is going to be a very good one. Look, this is not a sponsored review. I don't do sponsored reviews. Uh, I don't feel like doing sponsored reviews is, is fair to the people who you're bringing the content to because obviously you have nothing but good things to say about somebody who just lined your pockets pretty fat to talk about their particular project. So uh, again, this is not sponsored. This is just my personal view of this project. Uh, absolute full disclosure, I'm already in this project. Uh, I'm curious to see how it goes. Let's take a look real quick at the overall market. We're, we're under $2 trillion again. We've been kind of bouncing up and down. We've been kind of ranging a little bit there. And, uh, and that's okay. Uh, I do expect from that what happened just a couple days ago with, with China banning Bitcoin and making it illegal and all that other stuff that's just headline news. It is well-timed. It is manipulated. There's a reason why these things are going on. Uh, I do believe that news is all kind of just uh, comes out uh, at the same time for a particular reason. We had huge news with Jack Dorsey saying that now you can tip in Bitcoin on um, on Twitter uh, through the Lightning, Lightning Network. That is hugely bullish news. If you look around you know, worldwide and you're seeing the news uh, just in general towards uh, cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, you'll see that it's mostly overall very, very positive, very, very mass adoption type things taking place. You know, countries looking at uh, adopting uh, Bitcoin again, just like uh, what El Salvador did. Uh, so these guys, they really have to create a, a situation where they want to get a hold of your Bitcoin, your altcoins, the projects that you like the most. They want to accumulate these things cheap. So do not let the FUD scare you out. Look, please be well informed. Follow the news. Follow crypto YouTubers that you trust. There are obviously some you don't want to trust. I won't name any names, <clears throat> BitBoy. Um, but uh, you know, keep an eye for yourself on what's really going on, and that way you'll know when the best time to enter this market is. And again, dollar cost averaging is the best thing you can possibly do. 
Bitcoin is still pretty healthy right here, you guys, at you know 42.7, and uh, Ethereum just a shade under three thousand uh, dollars. Cardano having some big news. I'll be making some videos about what's been going on with Cardano. Uh, market's still healthy, you guys. Absolutely, could be some more downturns. In fact, I expect some more downturns into the future, into early October. I think that's when things are really going to change around. We're going to see some major upticks, and there's also the dark horse possibility that a BTC uh, ETF could get approved, and if that happens. Things are going to be massive. Strap your rocket ship boots on because we're probably going to the moon. And you got to be smart. You got to take profits. You got to get some pow pow on the side to enter in the market for the next dips because dip happens. Hey, I love you guys. You know I do. Peace.